now. And if you look out behind us, you can see pockets of sun yeah. and then yeah, really dark, threatening clouds, too. Yeah. And in the last couple of hours, we've had some lightning strikes in eastern Oregon pop wow. up. Wow. Yeah, so a lot going on this afternoon. Uh, but overall, we're moving to a quiet period, very brief quiet period starting tonight. We'll get to that in just a second. 62 degrees, still Portland. Last night at 11 o'clock, it was still 59 degrees, so we're, we're holding on to the heat, and it might feel just a touch muggy out there. Just a touch, not a lot, but if you, that's the way it feels, well, you'd be spot on because our dew points are in the 40s right now. Looking at Mount Hood Meadows, 35 degrees. We've had a few flurries here, but overall still a little too warm to see the snow actually stick. We see it falling, though, right above 5,000 feet. That snow level is going to lower through tonight. Lincoln City, 55 degrees. Getting a little bit hazy out there. Lower clouds starting to move in. A little bit of fog developing. And seaside, 54. Pretty windy day to start us off. Especially this morning, we were getting gusts upwards of 40 to 50 plus miles per hour. And right now, still getting wind gusts between about uh, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Occasionally just a little bit stronger. But overall, not keeping folks off the beach. Everyone out there enjoying everything. Here's a loop of the last three hours. Now I'm going to step out of the screen and point out where we see those lightning strikes pop up right around John Day, Long Creek. There you go, along Highway 26, Eastern Oregon. That's where we've had some pretty active weather here just in the last couple of hours. We've had brief downpours, especially along the west slopes of the Cascades. Snow levels eventually coming down here as we move into tonight down to the passes. So keep that in mind the next couple of days. Uh, current temperatures here in the low 60s still. All the way from Vancouver to, over to Portland and the Dalles right now. Government camp at 39 degrees. Prineville 55. We have some upper 50s in the valley and mid 50s at the coast. And looking ahead to tonight, there's our brief break. Look at that. Just as you're laying your head down to sleep, <laughs> you're looking at. You have to show that on camera now. The, they've got a toy over there. Okay, so rain forecast for tomorrow morning about 6 o'clock in the morning. You'll start to see those showers starting to move into our metro areas first for the coastline and some heavy downpours at times too. Look at this. As soon as we get that next front coming through about 9 o'clock in the morning, you can expect some very brief downpours coming through. And most of that activity on the west side of uh, the Cascades, east side, you're not expecting much in terms of rainfall. Look at these rainfall comparisons we get through tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow night, about the same time, we could pick up close to three quarters of an inch along the coast. Inland valleys, just under a half inch, but central Oregon, less than a tenth of an inch. We get through Thursday, another round of rain comes through, and now we're totaling a two day total closer to about three quarters of an inch inland and along the coast, about an inch and a half, but still central Oregon only seeing about a tenth of an inch overall. Here is your seven day forecast. Daytime highs in the low 50s, so we'll feel a whole lot cooler compared to the last couple of days. Overnight lows in the lower 40s and uh, winter weather advisory in effect just for the mountains uh, starting tomorrow lasting through Thursday could pick up close to a foot of snow in a two day period above 4,000 feet. And then for the weekend, a little bit of a mix. Temperatures move up a little bit, but still looking at a lot of rain, little tiny breaks in between. Okay, I didn't mean to distract you. I yeah, think I must have worn this oh. to church on Easter. I found a little, this little chicken in my pocket there. I was like, that. what are you guys doing? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you could hear that. Oh, before. I can hear. Sorry about that. All Jeff's fault, boy. <laughs> Gotta have some fun over here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs>